Ladies and gentlemen, the new update for Nikkei is live, and I kind of wanted to talk about it from the post side just to kind of show off everything that they've announced. But even looking at it, there wasn't a lot to talk about, and I think it's because we have a lot of things coming here in the near future. So let's go ahead and dive in. Actually, before we get into that, make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when the next Nikkei video comes out. And of course, also check out my ever wonderful sponsor, Gamersups. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off. Today, I'm drinking some Cursed Energy, aka Jujutsu Kaisen special flavor with Gamersups. Very good. Oh my god, I can't wait. Mm, mm. One of the better flavors in my personal opinion. Just so smooth. Anyways, let's talk about it, right? So we got Zwei, right? Make sure that, Jesus Christ. You can see Sway right there. Looks like she's got some healing potential. And we'll go over her kit a little bit in just a second. But that burst animation looks so sick. That's actually the first time I've seen the burst animation itself. So... I'm pretty happy about that, but let's go ahead and talk about what she can do, right? She is a support type, burst one, and she is a shotgun user, which I think we get a lot of shotgun Nikkei's, like a lot, a lot of shotgun Nikkei's, right? So skill one, activates when entering full burst, affects all allies, piercing damage goes up by 20.13% for one shot, and then piercing damage goes up for 10.06% uh, for 10 seconds. So. Red Hood and Alice are getting a very strong buff from this, right? So, that's pretty sick. Uh, I, I don't know if she's going to replace Leader in Red Hood's team. Because Leader is like, you know, a need for Red Hood in my personal opinion. So, I don't know. But we also have the skill 2 passive, Frame Analysis. Activates after landing 5 normal attacks. Affects all allies. Recovers 7.52% of cover HP. It activates when entering full burst and affects all allies. Critical rate up by 18.63% for five seconds. Now, again, this is really good, but at the same time, it's tough for me to go like, okay, well, is this going to be like needed for, you know, someone like a Red Hood team? And honestly, like for uh, snipers, yeah, because they hit their shot, they go back into cover, they hit their shot, go back into cover. They hit their shot, go back into cover. You know, well, actually, it's after landing five normal attacks. So, um, honestly, it could be, like, pretty easy to heal. But, again, I think I'd have to really test it to see if uh, Zwei out heals leader shielding, you know. Plus, you have crown as well. So, you could have Zwei and then crown. But I think the double shield where you get, like, basically a full bar of shield is, like, way more important. I don't know. I'd have to test it out myself. Uh, burst skill overcharge formula affects self. Changes the weapon in use. Charge time is 1.5 seconds. Uh, damage is 50.69% of final attack. Full charge damage is at 300% of damage. Max ammo capacity is 1. Additional effect is pierce. It affects all allies. Piercing damage goes up by 15.48% for 10 seconds. So, again, she she might be a very, very good uh, character to put with you know, Red Hood, Alice, and all them. So, who knows? Uh, I definitely want to test her out if I could pull her, right? Now, let's go ahead and talk about my favorite thing for this update. Uh, Marcietta costume. Oh, God. Marcietta is one of my favorites, and it's such a simple costume, right? So simple, yet so effective. Um, now, from what I gathered, right, the costume is from, it's her high school outfit, but she's wearing it to fit in better with her students. I haven't played any of the story yet, so I don't know, but I want this costume because it's simple but effective, right? Looks so good. Oh my god. I was I was shrimping, guys. I was shrimping over this costume. But let's go ahead and talk about the fact that we do have the new story. This went up this went live today, basically. So if you haven't done so already, and this is gonna go live uh probably like 20 minutes before the actual like uh you know stuff goes goes live. 
probably not i don't know we'll see but get your story stuff done you have a little bit of time right and then of course we also have our login event pretty simple log in for seven days you get a 10 voucher thing um honestly i'd probably say skip Zway for now only because of the fact that we're probably gonna get her through it well not probably she is gonna go through wish list and the collab's just around the corner so i would say skip her for now right as other news we're also getting a cpu freeze going to the archives so pretty cool i haven't done this event so that's an extra event for me pretty excited for that and then we got this right so mmr vocational school weekly news roundup i will a welcome ceremony for new students will be held to welcome the three transfer students please be on time who will be new transfer students we can't wait to find out so some people are saying that this is going to be the uh collab event and I'm seeing, like, on the side, some people are saying High School DXD. Some people are saying Blue Archive. Um, honestly, I really, really hope it's not Blue Archive. Because, <laughs> I don't know, Blue Archive, to me, just seems a little... Like, it makes sense, but also at the same time, it's like, why Blue Archive? It's random. Um, and if you don't know, for the collabs... We've gotten games, or we've gotten the game near Auto Automata. We've gotten Chainsaw Man as a collab, and we've also gotten ReZero as a collab. Uh, ReZero, I was just like, oh, God, another game that collabs with ReZero. But it still worked. Like, the, the units were really good. And I'm pretty sure even if this was Blue Archive, the units would be really good. Um, but, I, dude, I really wanted, like, I wanted something else. Like, Gurren Login or... Maybe even like SAO GGO, you know, that'd be so sick. Um, High School DXD, if they do that, that'd be insane to me, right? That would just be like, holy crap. High School DXD coming for it for a collab. I don't know. Ultimately, like it is what it is. No matter what they do for the collab, it's going to be really, really good. Um, personally, for me, I just hope that it's not going to be Blue Archive, right? But we'll see. But if this isn't about a collab, right? If this isn't the collab announcement, right? This would mean that we're getting more school characters, right? And I don't know how to feel about that, right? Right? We are we so we got Tia, we got Naga, we got Zwei, we got Ayn, we got Ray. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Like, uh, it's just weird, right? that's just me let me know in the comments down below how you feel like it's just, it's, just, it's just one of those things right um i one thing i do find weird is that there's this little like tap like little sticky note right there that says uh appearance of an unknown creature caution so i don't know uh it, it's it's weird maybe it is blue archive but i don't know so ultimately like let's just like we could we could just look at like Zway and just be like, okay, Zway is dope. I'm cool with Zway. I don't I don't think I'm gonna sub for her. I think I'm just gonna wishlist her. I might just, I might put one summon into her, right? Because I did one summon for Ein and I got Ein. So I might pull one summon into Zway and I might get Zway. So but anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Are you excited for Zway? Are you gonna pull her? Are you gonna use her on your red hood team? And are you going to be waiting for a collab? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we will catch you with that next video. Please take care and be safe.